feel like I'm I'm feeling about to, I'm about to get myself killed. That's what I'm feeling. Ah, stuck on the branch. Ugh. Jeez. That was a good festering example of why this game isn't completely optimized sometimes. I will be the first to point out a lot of this game's flaws. Like, um... I watched the video recently. I, I don't remember exactly which one it was. No, I, I do. I, I, um, I watch a lot of MadPat and Game Theorists and stuff like that. And they had an episode of Deadlock. I think it's a new series that they started. Where... They were talking about how Dark Souls, uh, it's, it's kind of split on whether it's a good game or not. And, like, the fanboys will be like, oh, this game's, like, the most amazing game ever, blah, 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 blah. But, um, oh god, I think I just screwed myself. Maybe. I might have just screwed myself, hang on. I jumped down to the wrong thing. Woo! Okay. Well, maybe it, okay. Um, I, I'm not sure what I was thinking when I came up here. Oh, I, I did the same thing again. Damn it. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. That's a sign that we're not gonna go after that thing. <laughs> Whatever that is, it's not as important as getting to the next zone. So, you tell me if that glowy white thing is worth my time or not. If it, if it is worth my time, I'll come back and get it, but right now I'm not feeling it. But anyway... Um, they're talking about how Dark Souls has a lot of conventions that Ocarina of Time had, where difficulty is measured in waiting. Like, you wait for your opponent to drop their guard, you wait for stuff, stuff like that to happen. But, there's a critical flaw in that argument. You don't, in this game, need to wait for your opponent to drop their guard, because you can drop their guard for them by doing this. Oh, 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 oh. There's a guard break in this game. There's not one in Ocarina of Time. So, that argument um, seems to be inherently flawed. Dark Souls has a lot of problems, but it does not suffer from the shield up blocking problem. It's kind of an oversight, really. I wouldn't expect that out of them, but... Um, my major problem with Dark Souls is descriptions being wrong and that was something that carried over into two and it's more prevalent in two than it is in this game I feel but there's just items don't do what they say they do and in order for you to really figure out stuff like that you have to look it up on the wiki and, eh, and that that's sloppy that is sloppy game design um, in cases like there's there's a thing with uh, items being mystical and that's understandable but when you want to use something and you look up what it does by the description and it literally says something that's completely incorrect that's that's totally different all right uh oh my god this is probably a dumb idea I really want to get that glowy thing, but I, it's, I've got to, like, do a blind leap to get there. Oh, God. Okay, let me get a better look at this. You can see it down there. Okay. It's on that, it's on that branch right down there. It's on that branch. All right, all right, all right, all right. Whew. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Yep. That's... Yep. I was afraid of it. That's something we're going to be running into a fair number of times if I keep trying to go for items on this thing. Goodness, we've got a lot of curse resist. I don't even have to remotely worry about being cursed right now, unless I, like, got trapped within 10 different pieces of fog at the same time, it wouldn't happen. I'd almost be tempted to show you what it what it does, but it 
I, I just don't want to get cursed. I don't feel like it. I can explain it, I guess. Okay. Cursing does something really different depending on what game you're playing. Um, cursing in Dark Souls 2 isn't as bad. It just, I think, instantly kills you in Dark Souls 2. In this game, getting cursed instantly kills you. Um, and it reduces your health by half of the max. Permanently. And in order to alleviate that, you have to... Oh, I forgot these things are powerful. You have to, um... Get a curse stone and break it like that. Okay, is there a way I can jump down on that thing? On that little mushroom over there? There's gotta be, gotta be a way I get, I can get on that. Doesn't seem too hard. Yep, yeah, doesn't seem too hard at all. We want to try to avoid as many of these mushroom guys as possible. They're just kind of annoying. They do a fair bit of damage if they come up on you and you're unprepared for them. Especially the big guys. I don't want to screw with the big guys. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, big guy! Shit! 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 That's what I was afraid of. God, they do so much damage. Uh, uh, there is really no need for me to power attack these things, although it does make me kill them in one hit. Yeah, AI on these mushrooms is kind of dumb. Okay, there's our bloody corpse pile. All right. Okay, that's not the right way to go. Ooh, this is the right way to go. Yes. Let's get the hell out of here. Are they still chasing me? Yeah, they are. But not for long, because we're in Ash Lake. Ash Lake. Welcome to the most beautiful zone in the game, in my opinion. I'm not gonna be talking a lot while I'm here. Um, just kind of let the atmosphere sort of stink in a little. And also, uh, yeah, look at that guy. That's a Hydra. We kind of missed encountering a Hydra earlier when we could have very easily done a Hydra. But I didn't kind of feel like screwing with it, so I left it alone. We'll come back and probably kill it later. Anyway, um... A bit more of the HPs. I'm not sure if our uh, HP gain is stacking with the Fap Ring or not. But we can at least bring it up to 20, and that's a good place to put it for now. So, we are in a really cool place. This is the zone at the bottom of the game. It's kind of like the secret zone. As on your first playthrough, you're not really supposed to know this exists, I think. But this is the bottom of all the world trees. And we look up and we see clouds, only that's not clouds, that's actually just like the bottom of the world. Considering how we got here. It's a very mystical, magical zone. Hello, snake. Okay. Our goal while we're here is to collect as many dragon scales as possible. All while avoiding snake. And we could probably kill it if we really wanted to, but uh, I don't kind of feel like dealing with it. Ow, 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 ow. We have enough health to survive one hit from it. That's pretty good. 
Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh god. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I could retreat over that dune and um, get some space between me and the uh, giant snaky snake there. That uh, that didn't work too well. Nope. 